Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. So today I'm going to show you how to make the best egg fried rice. But of course I've infused it with my salted beef. And guess what? I'm using a special rice, which is this Layla Extra Long Basmati rice. Now, this is not a sponsored ad, but these are the ingredients that I'm using. Now, if you do not want to miss videos like this and you like what you see so far, do not forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. And the notification button, which is the button next to it, which is like the doorbell. Yes, just click on that. What that means is each time I do upload a video, you are notified of it and you do not miss a thing. Now let's start. So using my extra virgin cold pressed organic raw coconut oil, yes from Vita Coco, thanks to Selassie for gifting me this, I'm melting that in my saucepan. Now if you have watched my previous video on how I made this beautiful crispy beef, you will note that I did reserve the fatty bits of my sirloin steak and I used it in making my salted beef. Of course with a different twist in terms of flavour. So I used caraway seeds, yes, and also some pink Himalayan salt, rosemary, yes, and some vinegar as well, apple cider vinegar. I reserved that in the fridge for about two weeks and I now have my salted beef. Now the caraway seeds do add that sort of aniseedy, licorice taste and also an earthy and citrusy, slightly peppery taste to the salted beef. Is a must try. Now I have done a previous video on tolu beef, which is the salted beef, and I'll leave the link in the description box so do check it out. So now here I have got my beef and my coconut oil is melting. I'm going to fry this. Maybe chengasa ona, bechena is infusion that happen, and the reason is I want it to be crispy, but I also want the oil to absorb those flavors from that meat. You see, it's all about the infusion within Dubai Fafa each step and i can see that that is just brown and perfectly this will take you about four to five minutes and you will achieve this amazing look now at this point i'm like yeah flavor no abba ubren joba na geshi ifi brown actually flavor mba so at this point i'm going to be added my shallots you can use any other onions that you prefer but i think the shallots do add this extra je ne sais quoi to the dish you know what i mean <laughs> why did i do that i don't know but i'm going to fry this as well for about three to four minutes because i want the onion to start browning and then i'm going to be adding something yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, before you start screaming, oh my God, the amount of chilies. Now, these are mild chilies that I got from my local grocer. Absolutely incredible. So they're just going to add the yeah, infusion as well. So you see, usually when you make um, anguamo, which is the spiced oiled rice from Ghana, it does, it's best to serve it with like this beautiful green Ghanaian chili sauce. So I'm sort of emulating those kind of flavors but in this dish, you will not even think that I'm going to be making an egg fried rice. All the shenanigans just for an egg fried rice. But it's not any other egg fried rice. So, kwe. I yag bane ba din dudu fai fa fa for egg fried rice. Hey, ko close you for molu. Hey, I'm a blame. And now we're dropping it like a salt now today. Anyway, so moving on. <laughs> So whilst my mixture is frying, I am going to talk about this beautiful basmati rice. And this is the extra long grain version. I'll tell you something, even if you look at the rice, you can see it's aged to perfection because it has that deeper creamer color, if you can see it, yes. And what I tend to do, if you've watched any of my previous rice videos, I always say I like to wash my rice so the water runs clear. And thereafter, what I do is I soak the rice in lukewarm water for about 15 to 20 minutes to allow the rice to absorb the water as well. What that means is when I'm cooking the rice, I will use less water and allow the steam of the rice to cook it to perfection. That just ensures you get that fluffy, perfect rice. 
So exactly what I've done and I've just um, rinsed it, soaked it as I mentioned and I've added my washed rice and soaked rice to my mixture and I'm mixing everything together till it's all combined. So I'm frying this just for about three to four minutes just to allow you know the marriage of flavors to take place. Absolutely. Now once that's done as I mentioned earlier I'm going to be adding my water. Now you'd notice that I'm going to be adding the water a bit at a time yes because I want to make sure that all this infusion is working to perfection, you see. So I've mixed it just to ensure that yeah, every grain is covered and is to perfection. And now I know that I do need a little bit more water, okay? So I'm going to add a little bit and to that I'm going to taste it. And if my rice requires extra salt, which in this case it does, I'll just add the required amount. Yes, so do taste at this stage, taste your rice first, i.e. the liquid, yes. And if it does require the salt, then you do add your salt to taste. So at this point, I'm going to mix everything together and I can see that this mixture is simmering just perfectly. So it is the right time for me to seal in this beauty, to allow this rice to do its own shenanigans. I'm not gonna disturb it, I'm not gonna do anything to it because I'm locking it down as you do absolutely so the fall comes in as i said it's on a lockdown guys yeah and i'm going to leave this for about 15 to 20 minutes now guess what happens after that look at this look at this fluffiness okay i mean mm -hmm. i'm being smug i think i am oh no man get back at omo ba je kumi kumi look at his extra long grain look at this hey charlie in a lash hey this one that you can eat it on its own okay you can get some shit and just go and lie in your corner somewhere and eat it now just all this idea no go so bish bash bosh now today you see look at this hmm so now we're moving on to the real recipe now which is the ch -ch cheers the frying of the fried rice you know what i mean yes so i've melted my coconut oil as usual and i've used my shallots and i'm just going to fry this for about two to three minutes and i can see it's just about to brown and guess what my mild chilies are added again because yes those are the flavors that i've incorporated in the rice so i'm reviving it as i said do not be alarmed i'm using very mild chilies now in the case that you use it like really hot chilies that you need to only use one but i'm just going for it and it's mild and it's nice you know i like to bite into that it's it's me but then again hey different folks different strokes that's it anyway so i've cracked about six eggs and i've mixed it together so bear in mind this is now on a medium heat because i'm going to be cooking this to perfection oh me per se in Gusiano, a wrap around a mono. So it's almost like you're making a scrambled egg, but I'm regulating the temperature because I don't want it to overcook. Well, that's the thing. So I'm doing that, and I, you can see I'm just spreading it just to make sure that it's cooking nicely, but I'm regulating it. So like I'm like a hawk because this is the secret to it. Flavors, definitely, we've got it locked down now we want that look that perfection so at this point i can see that yes my scrambled egg yeah it's almost done so now i'm going to add my steaming hot rice to it and i'm just going to mix that at this point i'm only going to mix it for about 45 seconds so it still looks nice and creamy and everything and the reason why i'm doing that is to allow the rice to also infuse into the egg so I'm not overcooking the egg, so it means that the egg will wrap around it. At this point, turn the heat off because we are going to be using the residual heat to finish this off. Now, if you do have some herbs, you can add your basil, you can add whatever herbs you wish or vegetables you choose to. But this is the egg fried rice with the anguamo twist. That indudu twist has got that caraway seed infusion, that anise seed thing coming through. Now, also, then, hey, this is not any other food, though. This is indudu by Fafa. Egg rice is on kitchen, also, then. I'm back, girls and boys. Yes. <laughs> so, yes, I hope you are definitely inspired to try this recipe. Look at that. 
ngosia because ngosia. And especially, you know, if you're in Ghana and you get your freshly laid eggs, oh, the flavor alone is another notch up. Yeah. So, yeah, do try the recipe. Leave comments below about your experience, most definitely. And naturally, I would leave all the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubayfafar.blogspot.com. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as in dudubayfafar. Do pass by and say hi. Now, until next time. Be you, be nice, be beautiful. Be who you are, do you. No matter what, keep doing you. You're wonderful. Much love.